Ciao, welcome to Moving Mango and welcome to day 72 of the 90 days of 4 Pilates Workout series. Today we are going to do a total body Pilates Workout to strengthen your whole body. So if you're ready, just draw your mat and let's do this together. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit on the mat with your back lengthening pull the belly button in press open and shoulders down you can always just relax your shoulders close your eyes inhale deeply through your nose exhale deeply through your mouth inhale and exhale you can close your eyes to feel how your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bones so inhale deeply and exhale deeply now slowly bring your head to one side, to the opposite side, and slowly bring it back to the center. Look down to the mat and up to the ceiling, and come back again. Bring the head to the left and to the right, back to the center. Look down and look up. And slowly bring your head back to the center, open your eyes, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. Reverse. Open your arm to the side, relax your shoulders, rotate your torso to one side, come back to the opposite side, back to the center. A couple more times with your own breath. So inhale and exhale, come back to the other side. Belly button in and lengthen the spine. And one more time here with your own breath. Keep breathing, last one. All right, bring your hands to the U letter, flip your arms towards the front and come back. And five, four, three, very good, two, and last one. And lengthen your arms, try to reach your hand to one side, to the opposite side, come back. And a couple more times with your own breath. Slowly use the breath to control the movement. Inhale and exhale, inhale. And exhale and back to the center. Bring your hands behind your head. Rotate the torso to one side. Come back to the opposite side. Back to the center. Feel free to bend your knees and open your legs anytime or sit on a pillow if it feels more comfortable for you. Keep breathing in one more time each side with your own breath and slowly bring your hands down. All right, and now you need to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. Keep your arms along your body, lift your leg up and the other leg up to 90 degrees. Extend your ankles and I wanted to inhale, bring one leg down to the opposite side, 10 times to each side with your own breath. So keep breathing, 9, belly button in, press your shoulder blades down, your whole arms down to the mat, 8, inhale and exhale, do each leg at a time if you want to make it more challenging. And do it twice if you do two legs at a time because we do each side one. Very good. Keep breathing. Make sure you only bring your legs down to the point that you still can keep your back in neutral and your hip bones down to the mat. Belly button in. I'm going to do two legs at a time to make it more challenge. Inhale, come back. Very good. And last one. And slowly bring your legs back to the center. Open your legs to the side. Lengthen to the front and bring it back. Bend your knees. So 10 times here. 10. Keep breathing. 9. Belly button in. 8. 7. In your car. 6. Keep breathing. And 5 more times with your own breath. 4. 3. Belly button in. Two and last one. Lengthen, come back, close your knees toward the center, and now slowly lengthen your legs up to the ceiling. And feel free to soften your knees, keep your knees on top of your hips, or just lengthen as far as you can. And open your arms wider to have more support with the balance. I wanted to inhale, open your legs to the side, and start to rotate one leg, only one leg. First, tiny circle, and ten, nine, stabilize the other leg. Seven, don't have to open so wide, just listen to your body. Press your hip bones down to the mat. Four, keep breathing. Three, belly button in, two, and last one, reverse. Ten, tiny circle. Nine, eight, seven, shoulder blades down, six, and five, 
four belly button in three keep breathing two and last one and to the opposite side ten nine eight very good seven six arms along your body to make it more support with the balance very good three two one reverse ten nine eight seven six tiny circle five squeeze your inner thighs four belly button in two and last one and slowly bring your legs back to the center bend your knees dorsiflex with your ankles and i wanted to inhale lengthen both legs towards the front 60 degrees and come back the lower your legs are the more challenging your abs your lower abs are but i wanted to make sure that you always keep your back in neutral and press your hip bones down to the mat so we're going to do it for five more times with your own breath four belly button in three inhale and exhale and two and last one lengthen come back bring your leg down and the other leg down to the mat open your legs with the pads tuck your foot tuck your toe forward, forward and press your feet down to the mat draw your hips all the way up Pull the belly button in, open your arms wider, press your whole shoulder blades down. Now I'm going to press one foot down to the mat, lengthen one leg, come back to the other side, back to the center. And make sure you don't move your hips at all, just stabilize your hips, lengthen your leg to the other side. You can always lower your hips if it's easier for your lower back. So listen to your body, lengthen, come back to the other side and bring it back couple more times with your own breath shoulder blades down and five more times each side with your own breath to the left four keep breathing to the opposite side three try to lift your hips as high as you can if you want more challenge two and last one inhale lengthen come back to the other side back to the center draw your hips all the way down and then tuck the tailbone forward press your lower back down and squeeze your booty draw your hips all the way up again and at this time arms along your body start to bring your heels up and down so 10 9 8 keep breathing 7 6 5 4 very good 3 keep breathing 2 and last one all right and now slowly inhale engage your car to support your hips stabilize your hips try to lift as high as you can start to move one foot toward the center without moving your hips and to the other side and then open and open the opposite side open your arms wider if you want more support hips up 10 times so 10 keep breathing and 9 come back left foot first and then right left and open and right foot first and then left and a couple more times with your own breath pull the belly button in inhale deeply and exhale open inhale in exhale down hips higher always try to lift your hips as high as you can but make sure you engage your core to support your lower back very good and open and last one open and slowly draw your hips all the way down hug your knees to your chest shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right press your feet down open your legs and now slowly lift your head off the mat hands support your head open your elbows slightly wider and i wanted to inhale exhale try to reach your chest up and down a couple more times with your own breath so really pull the belly button in inhale and exhale reach and come back 10 times with your own breath so 10 keep breathing 9 8 try to reach as high as you can 7 6 use your chest to lift 5 and to pull your upper body up very good press your lower back down to the mat and last one exhale inhale down and drop bring your head down to the mat open your knees wider and open your feet as wide as you can now start to engage your core lift one leg up and slowly down to the opposite side come back arms along your body open a little bit wider for more support so same angle on your knee all your leg your whole legs are moving and start all the movement from your hips so 10 to the left and 9 
to the other side inhale up and down exhale up and down seven and six or you can make a shorter breath if you want five inhale and exhale down inhale up and exhale down four belly button in three feel your hips are open and move here very good and last one lift down up and down close your knees lift both legs up to 90 degrees and extend your ankles i'm going to inhale chin to chest lift your head off the mat press your lower back down and keep your arms along the body now i wanted to inhale and start to pump in your whole arms here the hundred so lengthen your legs if you want more challenging or just bend your knees even bring your legs down to the mat if it's easier for you just listen to your body feel free to use your hand to support the head anytime when you need so keep breathing inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale and exhale couple more times to get your own breath try to lift your chest as high as you can and look towards the knees very good don't pull your chin up to the ceiling because it's gonna cause a lot of pressure on your neck and we don't want that and feel free to use your hand to support your head anytime beautiful reach your chest higher and three two and last one and slowly bring your head down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right lean on one side to the side kick series hands support your head the other hand in front of your chest and bend your bottom knee lengthen your top leg dorsiflex flex with your feet press your lower leg down to the mat inhale and bring your top leg towards the front keep your leg parallel to the ground and bring it back 10 times so 10 very good stabilize your shoulders and your hips nine keep breathing eight inhale and exhale come back seven belly button in shoulders far away from your ears six keep breathing rest your head down on your arm if it's easier for your wrist four belly button in and three keep breathing two inhale and exhale last one and slowly bend your knee at 90 degrees inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth open your leg extend your ankle and then bring it back your top leg go as high as you can pull the belly button in hip stabilize nine eight keep breathing seven all the way down six squeeze in the thighs five inhale up three and two exhale down and last one beautiful and shake your hips flex with your feet lengthen your top leg towards the front inhale lift your leg just above the hips and bring it back down up to the front down up you don't have to bring your foot so low just listen to your hips and as far as you can without moving your hips here so nine keep breathing down and up eight and down and lift seven very good six inhale and exhale slowly and five squeeze your inner thighs stabilize your hips pull the belly button in four three keep breathing down and lift two and last one and slowly bring your knees back to 90 degrees now lengthen your bottom leg your top leg bend and press down to the mat lift your bottom leg up I extend your ankle and start to draw circle so 10 9 pull the belly button in 7 stabilize your hips 5 4 3 2 and 1 reverse 10 9 8 rest your head down if you need to 7 6 5 4 keep breathing 3 2 and last one and slowly bring your leg down lift it up and down 10 times here with your own breath 9 eight keep breathing seven six and five four very good three keep breathing feel your inner thighs and last one lift it up move to the front and move to the back and ten times with your own breath 
feel your inner thighs are burning here. Eight, nine, very good. Eight, keep breathing. And seven, inhale, come back, exhale. Six, keep your leg as high as you can. Five, feel your leg is burning, your knees still facing up to the front. Four, move with control. Three, so use the breath to control the movement. And last one. And slowly bring your leg back to the center down. Shake your hips a little bit, bend your knee and lengthen. And now slowly to the opposite side to do a psychic series on this side. So hands support your head and again the other hand in front of your chest. Now bend your bottom leg and your top leg. Lengthen, extend your ankle. Bring it all the way towards the front and come back. Stabilize your hips and your shoulders. So 10 times here. Keep your leg parallel to the ground. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, inhale and exhale. And seven, six, and five more times with your own breath. Four, belly button in. Three, inhale and exhale. And two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees to 90 degrees, shut your hips. And then slowly open your leg as wide as you can. Come back 10 times. So pull the belly button in, activate your feet. Nine, eight, seven, six, keep breathing. Five, bring it down slowly. Four, three, don't hold your breath. Two, squeeze your inner thighs. Last one. All right, and now slowly inhale, lengthen your top leg to the front, dorsiflex with your foot, lift your leg up, just above the hips, bring it down to the front, down, and come back. So 10 times with your own breath, 10. Just only move, tiny move down, as long as you don't move your hips, stabilize your hips here, and eight. Keep breathing, seven, belly button in, press your lower leg down, six, Inhale and exhale, come back and five, four, to the upper, to the front and three, very good. Keep breathing, two, to the front and last one. And slowly bring your leg down, bend your um, top leg and lengthen your bottom leg, plant up flex with your foot. Now lift it up, tiny circle, so ten nine slowly eight seven six keep breathing five four three two one reverse ten nine eight seven six five slowly three two shoulders relax and slowly bring your leg down and lift so ten nine keep breathing eight very good seven six beautiful five Four, three, two, and last one. And slowly move towards the front and towards the back. Keep it as high as you can. Ten, nine. Feel your legs shaking. Eight. Your inner thighs are burning. Seven. Move with control. Use the breath to control the movement. Beautiful. Four, three, engage your car. Two, and last one and slowly bring your leg back to the center down to the mat all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to come to try pose here now chin your chest look towards the knees round your spine slide your hands towards the knees and then lengthen your arms look towards the front of the mat walk your hands forward and come to own front position open your legs see with the part and we're gonna work the abs and the upper body here so tuck your feet shoulders far away from your ears engage your core inhale lift your knees up and down 10 times so 10 9 you always can press your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist beautiful and five four slowly inhale up exhale down two look down to the mat lengthen your neck last one all right and now i'm going to allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat pull the belly button in lengthen your legs to forearm plank so inhale and lift one forearm up to the opposite side 
10 times here each side with your own breath. Nine, keep breathing to make it more challenge. Very good, keep breathing. And five, to the other side, four, three, inhale up, exhale down, and two, and last one, to the other side, and slowly bring your knees down, come to try pose again, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth, all right, and when you're ready, I want you to come to lie all the way down on your belly, now this time, you can put your hands next to your chest, look down to the mat, lengthen your neck, close your elbows towards the back. So you can always try to bring your elbows as close as you can. You can put your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. Listen to your body, tuck your feet here. And I want to inhale, pull the belly button in, try to press your whole torso up and bend your knees and come back five times. So five, four, very good. Three, lengthen your neck. To look down to the mat, last one, and slowly drop your, top, your whole body down. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and now I wanted to allow yourself to bring your hands towards the front of the chest, press your whole forearm down. Now pull the belly button in, your hip bones lift off the mat, and now slowly engage your core, your pelvic still down to the mat. Pull the belly button in, inhale and exhale, start to bend your knees and to the opposite side, come back, so twice, tap, 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 to the other side, <sighs> exhale shortly when you bend your knees, very good, keep breathing, put your shoulders far away from your ears, beautiful, you can do it slowly, bend your knee one, and extend your ankle one, and come back, if it's easier for you to control the movement of your leg, I want you to feel your quad is working, to the other side, pull the belly button in. Lift your hips as high as you can to keep your back in neutral. As long as your back in neutral, don't lift too high just around your spine. Keep your back in neutral, that's the key thing actually. All right, and four more times each side. Don't forget to breathe. Three, two, to the other side, and last one. To the opposite side and slowly bring your hips down good all right now open your arms wider your legs wider and now keep your hands close toward the chest but the elbows go to the right i want to inhale slowly pull the belly button all the way toward the spine really engage your core to support your lower back in this movement if you are a beginner you can always just press your head down on the hands and lift both legs up or each leg up at a time if it's easier for you if you want to make it more challenging lift both arms and legs up and slowly bring it down so i wanted to do it for 10 times with your own breath and let's do this together lengthen your neck look down 10 keep breathing nine belly button in eight really engage your core seven six pull the belly button to the spine press your head down if it's easier for the lower back, so listen to your body. And last one, and slowly bring your whole body down to the mat. Shake your hips a little bit, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply. All right, bend your knees and rotate your ankles. Reverse. And the next movement, we want to lengthen your arms, your hands over your head. Lengthen your legs. Now, shoulders far away from your ears and lift one arm and opposite leg up to the opposite side. Both legs and arm at a time. If it's easier, if it's more challenging for you, 10 times you got your own breath. So 10, keep breathing, 9, 8, don't have to lift your legs so high, 6, listen to your lower back, each leg at a time if it's easier for you, lower your torso if it's easier for the lower back as well, and last one, and slowly bring it back around your spine, lengthen your arm, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to come to sit along the mat. So, bring your hands behind your hips, close your elbows toward the spine, keep your arms parallel to each other if you can, or just open your arms wider if it's easier for you. I wanted to inhale, press your feet down, lift your hips up the mat. You can put your whole forearms down if it's easier for your 
wrist. All right, so 10 times you with your own breath. Try to lift your hips as high as you can. Make sure you lengthen your spine, push your chest up. So 10, look towards the front, nine, pull the belly button in, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, five, press both feet down, four, feel balance on your hips, three, two, and last one, lift and down, and slowly lengthen your legs. Lift your hips off the mat. Start to rotate your hips from left to right and lengthen your arms if you want to make it more challenging. Open wider if you want to make it easier, slightly easier. So you need to inhale, close your elbows, lift your hips up, look towards the front, don't pull your chin up. Start to rotate your hips from left to right. 10, shoulders far away from your ears. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, and seven, six, belly button in. Five, four, shoulders far away from your ears. Soften your elbows if you need to, two, and last one, and slowly bring your hips down to the mat. Hug your knees to your chest, stretch your hips a little bit, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your legs, plantar flex with the feet, keep your feet toward the center, lengthen your spine, and again, sit on the pillow if you need to, or, or yoga block if you need to. Plantar flex, open your arms wider, soften your elbows, rotate the torso to one side, come back, to the other side, back to the center, 10 times each side, so 10, keep breathing, shoulders down, 9, try to not move your feet, your leg here, press your sitting bones down, 7, already your torso is moving, 6, keep breathing, shoulders down, 4, very good, 3, and 2, feel your upper leg twisting, last one, and slowly back to the center, hands down, rotate your shoulders and reverse. And the last challenge for today, I want to inhale, lengthen your arms to behind your hips, shoulders far away from your ears and rotate your fingers toward the side, go to the side of the mat here. Now open your legs, press your feet down and you can press, move your feet towards the hips more so your knees at 90 degrees, lift your hips up shoulders down chest open pull the belly button in keep your back in neutral lengthen one leg lift it up and down 10 times so 10 keep breathing nice stabilize your hips eight only your leg is moving seven six keep breathing and five very good four press your opposite foot down three you can do this two and last one up down bend to the other side up and down 10 times with your own breath nine keep breathing eight seven six and five stabilize your hips four belly button in shoulders far away from your ears look towards the front two and last one up down knees bend hips down hug your knees to the chest shake your hips in here deeply exhale deeply very good and now we are going to do some stretching movement before we complete the workout today so open your legs hip width apart lengthen your torso here feel like a straight line open your arms to the side soften your elbows inhale rotate your torso to one side hands behind your head come back to the opposite side hand behind your head and bring it back tiny movement but you're going to feel your shoulders and your chest working your arms as well very good to the other side your oblique is twisting your sitting bones down to the mat your feet down only your torso is moving and last one to the opposite side back to the center lengthen your arms round your spine and lengthen and five four keep breathing three very good two and last one all right, and now rotate the torso to one side, flex forward, slightly come back to the other side. So listen to your body. I want you to feel your upper spine is lengthening here. So keep your lower back just slightly move forward, not so much. But you want to reach your head and your shoulders towards the front. Reach your hand a little bit further. And one more time and slowly bring it back to the center down. Shake your hips in here deeply, rotate your wrist reverse interlace your fingers towards the back lengthen your arms lift your hands your whole arms up and down 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 to the front interlace your fingers and reach 
and flip. So five, four, lengthen your spine, still slightly engage your core. Two, and last one, and slowly bring your hands down, rotate your head, pull into four directions, reverse. Two more times with your own breath. Slowly and come back to the center. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Rotate your shoulders and reverse. And cross your legs if you feel comfortable enough, or you can just lengthen your leg. Open your arms to the side, reach your hand to one side, to the other side. And three, keep breathing. Two, reach a little bit further if you can. And last one, and slowly back to the center. Reach your hands to the side. And slowly bring your hands down. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And bring your head down. Feel the back of your neck is stretching. Look up. Come back. To the left. To the right. Back to the center. Rotate your head around your neck. Reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Inhale deeply. Relax your shoulders. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. And slowly open your eyes and smile. So that's the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let me know by commenting below. I would love to hear your update as well. I'm going to see you tomorrow for day 73. Bye-bye.